All I said was, fuck your mama. A nigga showed up with a beanie on at the house. <laughs> <laughs> How do a nigga have on a beanie at home? Hey, you got here. Hey, you got here. Fake ass gangster. What kind of niggas wearing a beanie inside the house? <laughs> oh. Oh, uh. Fake ass gangster. <laughs> Fake ass gangster. <laughs> but, but a nigga wearing a, no, a nigga wearing a beanie inside, inside the house. He got dressed. He got dressed. Get on there. That was his best outfit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop sucking. I'm gonna send you something to get you a haircut, man. So you ain't gotta get on there with that crusty ass beanie. <laughs> <laughs> of doing shit off of fighters. Continue to do it. You know what I mean. You get paid off the of negative views for Devin, as well as you get paid off positive views for Tay. The only way you get paid is talking about niggas in our in, in the business. Damn. The only way you get paid is talking about niggas in our in, in the business. Damn. Because this is what happens as we be watching. You know, shit be popping up that things, and sometimes you don't get to see it, but you try to keep people on it so you can get a better, clear understanding. Y'all know Devin Haney and his pops were talking crazy to me yesterday on Instagram. What? your mama all i said was fuck your mama fuck your son nigga talking like y'all tough all i said was fuck devin haney uh. and india love uh. all i said was fuck your mama <laughs> nigga talking about my mama nigga i've been a handsome light-skinned nigga all my life you think i don't know about a nigga trying to tell me something about my mama all i said was fuck Devin Hayden uh, and India Love. Javante Tank Davis, the face of boxing. Happy birthday, Javante, by the way. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Javante, by the way. Devin Haney and his pops were talking crazy to me yesterday on Instagram. All I said was, fuck your mama. I want to tap in and say some more stupid ass shit that these people are listening to. All I said was, Pussy, you can't talk, faggot. You can't talk when I'm talking. All I said was, you ain't shit as the father. I'm not Samoan, but my wife is half Samoan. My wife is black and Samoan. Yeah, you sure you probably see the flag. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter is 25% uh, Samoan. Yeah, my daughter is... My daughter is... I'll kill you your stuff? daughter, bro. I'll, I'll pay kill you. your daughter. I'll, pay I'll you kill your, your daughter. daughter. I kill your daughter, nigga. I hey, kill your fucking daughter, nigga. I kill your kids, nigga. That's what I do, nigga. I will kill your kids, nigga. I'll kill your. I stand on every single thing I say, and I'm never gonna apologize. No, but on a serious note, in the 1980s, Ronald Reagan was president, and he instituted a war on drugs. He just wanted to lock up as many poor brown and black people as he could, and then he got the CIA to pump crack cocaine in the ghetto. And there were all these crackheads, and they were giving birth to kids. Hey, you got here. Hey, you got here. So, how long your crack addiction lasted for? I had a 20 year crack addiction. Uh, I fell in love with it. Crack babies. It's it's funny and it's sad at the same time. So these crack babies grow up into adults and they end up having bipolar personalities with psychotic features and false delusions of grandeur. Hey guy here. Hey guy here. And that's Southpaw boxing. So have mercy on the poor guy. But like on a serious note, if I was him, I would hate me too. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs>